Hello my friends, about a year ago I decided on this channel to do a little bit of a showcase of a game called Realcraft. It is a mode for StarCraft 2 that is basically a roguelite uh, survival type thing for StarCraft, and it is a ton of fun. And then about six months ago or so, the Protoss faction came out for it. Unfortunately today we do not have the Zerg going for it, but I just felt like playing Realcraft. So you know what, we're gonna do it again because it's a lot of fun. And because it's a roguelite, there's a bunch of different variety to it. So I picked a different map than before. Uh, I think we're going to go Terran again. You know, a little bit of back and forth. I played on Brutal last time. So I'm going to jump up to Legendary. So we have 25 seconds to set up. Uh, there's positive, negative, neutral mutators. Enemy spawns are numerous and large. Da, 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 da. Sounds good to me. And then last time I played with Jim Rayner as my hero, so let's uh, check who the other options are. We got Blaze? Uh, I'm not really feeling Blaze. Uh, attack damage and life regen. Actually, he might be tanky. Is having a tanky thing good? I'm not sure. Or we could have Nova, who's a cloaked assassin. Or we could have... You know what? Let's go Miles Blaze Lewis. Let's just go down the list as we try. And then uh, I want Classic Mode. So the way that this works is you start out with a normal StarCraft base like this, plus a nice little hero. There's money around the map, and then there's going to be this like little roulette system going on. And that is going to determine what units we get. Let's take a look at this map. Okay, there's two bases. Um, not the greatest positioning on them. So we uh, first we unlock a unit, then we unlock a mutator. And what do we get? Ooh, oh, okay, <laughs> we got the Dominion Trooper as our first unit that we can build, uh, we got some of them, let's get you guys to grab some of these monies, cowardice, enemy is mortified at the notion of having to fight a skill commander such as you, hostile units become feared once they drop, ooh, ooh, that's a really good one, we got lucky, and then the enemy unit type we fight in these waves are going to be... Broodlings, Roaches, and Locusts. Okay, let's do this. Let's, uh... Just trying to get a nice little setup here. Uh, Blaze, I have a hero ability I can pick from him. Oil spill, reduces movement, prevent cloak. Fire explosion, roofing stacks of heat. I don't remember what heat is. Uh, oh gosh. You know what, let's just take the slowing thing. And then we're gonna try to hold everything off. We do not want to get guys in our mineral line. So it takes a really long time to build production in this game. That is one thing that I now remember. Let's uh, try to full wall this. And then we can leave a couple guys over here. Hopefully that's enough. Ooh, that's a lot of guys here. Go down that slow. You guys come over. Can we promote these? Uh, oh, flamethrowers. Yeah, okay. Get a couple flamethrower guys. That's good. Uh, maybe? Oh, the Roachling, or the Broodlings, though. Oh, jeez. Pull these guys back. Oh, my goodness. How I couldn't even get a building up at the beginning of this. The enemy just, it was a really aggressive wave type that moves on quickly. Let's see if we can salvage from this position. And then we held, so we get a nice little bonus. I completely forgot about that. Structures no longer burn down. That seems good. Structures can research two upgrades at the same time. It doesn't seem as great for what we have. Or starports build and operate 100% faster. I feel like uh, not burning down feels really good right now. Because we gotta build, we gotta build defenses. I'm gonna put a bunker right here. We're gonna get our Dominion Troopers. What do we need for this? Barracks Tech Lab upgrade, okay. So we've cleared wave one out of six. Oh, this game is stressful. <laughs> Uh, let's put one flame trooper and then a couple normal troopers in here and see what our next tech is going to be. Oh, it looks like we're getting barrack stuff again. This time it is... Please no Herc. Please no Herc. Please no Herc. Reapers. All right. And we got two level ups. So incinerate uh, damage per second over time and spreads. That seems good. 
Welcome to the StarCraft 2 tutorial. <laughs> From here, you will learn the basic controls needed to play StarCraft 2. In StarCraft, you win the battle from above as the commander of an army. <laughs> Sir Mutator. Tutorial. Oh, so good. The units under your command. Okay. You have a number of tools at your disposal to help control your forces. In the lower left of your screen is a mini map. <laughs> so stupid. What a great game. And then what are we fighting? Zealous Adepts and Sentry. Oh, Reapers are going to be great against these. Um, Reaper range and damage versus light. Both those seem great. Okay, our bunker's not in a great position. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, that's, the tutorial is so annoying. That's amazing. What a great decision. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three. And they're perfect. We can get Reaper, that. We have these two guys here. These two guys here. Do we have mules? Yeah, we got mules. They're all coming from this direction. Oh, there's these Void Rifts. I forgot about them. We're going to have to deal with them. Uh, I'd like to get a reactor. Let's uh, just keep trying to move this way. We have Spider Mine ability? Yeah, okay. Now let's try to get over to this Void Rift and take it down. Oof. The black mask will move as your unit moves further into the dark Get them, Reapers. Okay. We've held. Let's uh, send these guys over here. Grab this, that, and the other. One over. And then get these two guys out. Just pull them on over to the... <sighs> Blaze can deal with it. And these guys come this way. I guess some upgrades. Oh my gosh, this is driving me insane. I'm like not even able to macro because I'm just absolutely distracted by this tutorial. It is incredible. Flame attacks deal additional damage over time. Dragon laser drill! How do I build it? Armory, okay. Am I just getting all barracks units? I mean, I'll take it. Oh, uh, I'm probably gonna die because I'm stuck on one base. <laughs> but I'm getting a little Draken laser drill, I don't care. Let's see. So we have Royal Oasis Guard. Oh dude, oh dude, oh dude. Things might be going okay. Oh yeah, Aegis Guard. That seems pretty decent. Range 5, range 5.5. Sir. These guys out. So the enemy is going to be Marine Marauder Medic Ghost Viking and Cowardice. The enemy... I got feared again. I feel like we keep getting the same things. Creep, equip that to increase the range. Oh, the Vikings land, huh? Well, good thing we got that bunker. And then Aegis Guard. But first, we need the armory going, and we can get one of these. Throw down the goo, and Miles Blaze Lewis in the front seems best. Drop some mines. We're going to have 1-1. One, one. We're going to be able to get 2-2 two, two going in a second. Take the bunker down. And uh, just in case you didn't know, it is uh, legally required to say his full name, Miles Blaze Lewis. If you just call him Blaze, that's weird. Oh my goodness. Detection. And detect. Whoa! That is a lot of guys. Mr. Lewis is not having a good day. He's got spider mines. He's fine. You're too stressed. Okay. This supply depot has been... The constant drawing of my ire. And I'm not talking about the planet. Okay, so we gotta go down and destroy that Void Rift now. Unfortunately, I have no healing. Which has been a constant issue. Ooh, fire's good. It's, a uh, Dragon laser drilled 200 gas. So cancel anybody that takes gas and get a laser drill. 
Can we only get one? Yes. 20 seconds to clear that. Just keep getting the little commando guys. Okay, we got an Aegis Guard. That's super strong. And then Reaper can head around the map and try to grab some of these. And we're going to see... We have to do six waves. So we're getting there, but also we're not even close. Hmm. Okay. That guy's feared. That's fine. I could really use something like Siege Tanks. That would be... That would be the best if we could have it. I would be very happy. Okay. SCVs twice as fast. Temporary speed boost for mechanical units or tech reactors. I feel like tech reactors is kind of what we want right now. Tech reactors are bad in Wings of Liberty because they take a long time to build and they're expensive. But if we get them for free... Alright, Warhounds. I like that. Get factory up. Get these... Let's see what the next mutator is. Supply drops. 30 extra supply. Oh. Alright. So, Warhound... Ooh. Warhounds are cheap. Good tech reactor. What is Spot? Spotter robot. Decent agility with long range... Oh, it's just a... It's mobile detection to make sure that you don't get... Cheesed out. I actually like that quite a bit. Just always have some form of detection, so... Whatever you run into. And then ground war. More infantry. Oh, there are siege tanks and Thors this time, though. Oh, gosh. This guy needs to get back home. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about him. All right. So we got the dragon laser drill. We can grab this guy. Bring him over. Okay. That's dead. Blaze fires his thing. And then we got to be so careful about these tanks. Oh, my goodness. I don't think we're having the worst luck ever with enemy compositions, though, which is nice. Let's see if we can just send Reapers right over there. Take that down. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Whoa. Okay. We have to make good use of that high ground. Thank you, Siege Tank. Not run into tank range. Careful, careful, careful. A rocketeer. That sends him, like, really fast forward? Yeah, rocketeer. Ooh, I like that. Target down this. Blaze is taking the shots from the siege tanks, and that is okay. Warhounds are under production and mass, and then I can get some of these uh, Aegis Guards. Okay. Let's upgrade this and see if we can start mining from an expansion. I think that we're just going to have to mule an expansion really hard. That's going to be the goal. And then there's another one of these. Oh, I didn't get this in time. I didn't notice there were two of them for a moment. I've been... This is such a stressful game mod. Uh, do I need to drop one of those? I just don't want to be energy capped. So we're not going to be able to get a perfect score. Because I messed up. But I think the Aegis Guard Warhound seems like a fantastic composition. We have two more waves to do. Is that it? Warhound online. Warhound online. Warhound awaiting war orders. Regenerative biosteel. We don't really have that much healing. F bomber platforms or automated gas. Bomber platforms. Uh, how expensive are they? Okay, we're gonna... So we're getting some more of these basic infantry. Ooh, perdition turret. I didn't know we could build those. I'll take it. Yeah, a couple of those right there might be nice. And then... Oh, not again! <laughs> I'm salvaging this. Maybe we can grab some of the mu or some of the pickups that are over here. Strike glides are great. What a good little randomization we got there. Okay. What's this? Call in extra supplies, right? We don't need that because we got that. Infested, Kaboomer, Chonker, and Stanks. So what I'm going to do... 
is hope that we get lucky. We didn't get lucky. I was hoping they were going to attack from the... Oh. That's a stank. <laughs> Those guys are immune to sunlight. Okay, more strike lights. Go, 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 go. Yeah, go over here and deal with stank somehow. We're gonna... Here. Couple over here. Okay, and then we fire... These little strike crafts on Stank. Oh, it's working. It's working. We're going to blow them up. By the way, does anyone think that Miles Blaze Lewis has been absolutely phenomenal? Like, I feel like he's been really, really good keeping us in this game. His ability to tank and his ability to slow enemies down. Oh, another Stank. Use your mouse, Commander. More Stank. And then we got to deal with those... Spawners, if we want to get credit for winning. I don't really think I care about credit. I just care about survival at this point. So we're not here for score. Okay, these guys over here. These guys over here. And uh, let's go some more Warhounds because they're just cheap and they do damage. Oh my gosh. Please stop. Oh, we can't get over. Oh, it's, uh, it's a long way down. I'm gonna grab what money I can at this process. There's going to be one more wave after this. One more wave that we got to survive. It's going, it's going okay, though. I think that we're going to win this. I'm feeling pretty good. The Warhound was such a good roll. Right, you come over here, and we're going to drop the mules. This is why you play Terran. Okay, that's been dealt with. Come on over. And then what do we got? Mechanical units gain 10% health. All ships gain tactical jump. We never rolled any ships. <laughs> units gain starting maximum energy. I don't care about that. We gotta get the mechanical stuff just because that's what we have. Weird rolls. We never got any starships. But it really... It went okay in the end, I think, the rolling. Uh, start getting this upgrade. Drop a lot of mules. We can actually send. Oh, good. Colorblind. <laughs> cool. And flame trooper, firebat, hellion, primal igniter, ravager, colossi. Honestly, not that bad as a final final assault composition, is it? We're just going to mine as much as we can from there. And then if it dies, it dies. We're going we're going big Warhound energy. <laughs> Stupid black and white. I can't believe that the StarCraft client is able to just support stuff like black and white natively. You know what I mean? It's so wild to me that the, of the weird things this engine is, like, perfectly capable of doing without issue. Why? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Most game engines don't let you do this without some crazy, crazy thing. What's combustion? Ah, oh, it just goes. Okay. I don't care about that. Okay, you're gonna. I can't really. It's hard to see the health bars. Yeah, just mine a little bit more. That's all that we need. Warhounds go war. Oh. Drop some spider mines. Come in from both sides. I got a couple of those. Split the army. So can we uh, use these to target this? Yes. Perfect. We have an answer. I invested a lot in those, so I'm glad that works. Uh, Miles Blaze Lewis, where are you, sir? Oh, he's in the other group. Oh, we did it. We won. Hey, hey, hey. Being able to use those strike platforms to take down the spawners, it worked great. We only got credit for two out of the six waves. <laughs> uh, this game is, as you go up in difficulties, it is very hard. The I like real cap. That's amazing. This game is really fun. I'm not perfect at it. I mean, roguelikes are all, or roguelites are always built around chaos, right? You're not supposed to be perfect every time. 
uh, I didn't really... There's like so many things you have to think about at the same time while the AI is telling you the tutorial of the game in excruciating detail. It's uh, it's really stupid. This mod's really fun, and we did beat it on uh, this difficulty. Whatever is above brutal, is legendary. There we go. So next time, next time that I have a little open gap in content, I will try it on the one above legendary. I don't care as much about getting the spawners done in time as I do about just barely grasping victory. You know what I mean? I just want to keep ratcheting that difficulty up and see how far we can go. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Real Craft. Real fun mod. Please clap. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.